what a beautiful neighborhood and the house is just great. Thank you. We've been here for two years and we're very happy. We have two kids. Uh, we also had a recent problem with the smoke detector in our master bedroom. It started chirping in the middle of the night, woke the whole family up and we had to remove it. And so now we do not have one in the master bedroom, which is not very safe. Oh, okay. So you have no smoke detector in your master bedroom right now? That's correct. And how about the rest of the home? We do have some in the rest of the house. I'm not okay. sure how many. And I think the only thing we've done was replace the batteries. All right, Carolyn. So I've just done the inspection of your home for all the devices that you have. We have some good news and we have some bad news. Okay. Let's start with the good news. So first off, your house meets all the modern codes that are required with smoke detector locations. So upstairs you have three bedrooms. There's a smoke detector required in each of the bedrooms. There is. And in the hallway there's a smoke detector upstairs. Down here on this level you need a smoke detector, which we have right above here. Over there in that little hallway, that covers the rest of the floor. That's also really good. Okay. And you had one in your master bedroom before you ripped it down. There's no basement here, so you don't need anything, obviously, because it's a slab, but you would have needed one if you had a basement. Now they are powered by a battery, but that's only for backup. So the main power source is 120 volts. Now they have a third wire. The third wire is called an interconnect wire. What that wire does, when one of the devices go off, it sends a signal to all the other devices and makes a real loud racket and lets you know that there's something in alarm. So that's all the good news. The bad news is that each one of these devices has an expiration date. They're only good 10 years after the date of manufacturer. This one was manufactured almost 20 years ago. Okay, so I'm confused because we just bought this house two years ago yeah. and we had a home inspection and yeah. they told us that these are working and so are you saying my house is not safe? Well, the inspectors are only checking two things. They're checking if the devices are in their locations that they're supposed to be and they're checking to see if they make a sound. The expiration part of it is on you as the homeowner. You're required to remove them and look and check yourself. Okay. Now regarding carbon monoxide detectors, carbon monoxide detectors are required on every living level. So upstairs you have a carbon monoxide detector which is plugged into the wall outlet. Down here you have a carbon monoxide smoke detector. That's good. So carbon monoxide detectors, they expire every three to five years. You gotta check with the manufacturer on that one. Now we have to replace all the devices in your house anyhow, so we might as well just give you the latest technology and I brought some pretty cool stuff. Let me show you. Awesome, thanks. Okay, this is what we're gonna to install today. Okay. This is a combination unit, meaning it has both smoke and carbon monoxide detector all built into one nice little package. Awesome. Now the smoke detector, Currently, right now, you have ionization detection, which basically is your flash fires, your real quick burning fires. This has a second type of detector, which is photoelectric, which is great for those smoldering fires that start real slow and create a lot of smoke. This has both built in. Now, this is connected with a 120 volt power source, and it also has battery backup. But the interconnection is wirelessly, so you don't need that third wire, which is fantastic for a retrofit or remodel where it's not existing into the house already. Okay. Now this connects wirelessly to your phone also. So anywhere you have internet connection, you can tell what's going on in your house. Okay. Now before we install these, we've got to go to the app, scan each device, and assign it a location in your home. Anytime I do electrical work, the power needs to be shut off at the circuit panel first. We're going to pull down the old device. Since we don't need the third interconnect wire any longer, I can cap it off with a wire. Now I can tie in the new pigtail that they supplied us to the house's power supply. They also supply this custom mounted plate which I tie into the existing device box using the existing screws.
Then we do the same thing for the remaining devices. Okay, so we're all set. Okay. The devices have all been programmed, they've all been installed, and the power is back on. Now that is tied into your Wi-Fi system. So basically what that means is it's the internet of things. There's a whole bunch of things all connected and they speak to each other. Okay. That thermostat over there is part of that network. It ties into your smoke detectors. What basically means is that if you had a carbon monoxide alarm that went off, the thermostat would actually shut off your furnaces kind of maybe solving the problem. Okay. So there's a battery in each one of these units. Now, just like all batteries, they eventually have their life and need to be changed. Instead of that chirp, 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 chirp that you hear in the middle of the night. I know that chirp. We know how that went. Yeah. It's gonna notify your phone that the battery needs to be replaced, which should be a lot more convenient for you. Yes, what a relief that's yeah. gonna be. It's good. Now they have to be tested. So I could just press the test button, which I've already done to make sure it works. Okay. Right here, I'm gonna use matches. It'll give us a real life scenario here. smoke in the family room. The that, alarm may sound. Just a warning. Emergency. And then all the other ones in the house are going off. You hear that? Uh, yep, I do. Press to silence. Okay, so you just press this right here to silence it. Emergency. Okay. And then we hold it in the middle. Okay. And that silences it right there. Pretty loud, huh? It's very loud. It just gives you acknowledgement that everything works. Sure. Real nice system. And everything's safe. Everything's really safe. Yeah. You can sleep tight tonight. Mm -hmm.